Understanding the ways that research literacy is helpful can also help us think about the why we sometimes do things that other people might consider to be a little dumb. In another recording, I mentioned that personal experience is a common source of knowledge. Indeed, we could probably make the case it's one of the most powerful sources of knowledge. The limitations of that knowledge can lead us to do a number of things that might be considered dumb from one's perspective and completely logical from another person's perspective. Culture influences our personal experience in a number of ways that can limit our perspective if we're not cautious about that potential. Those sociocultural factors can also influence the research process, but for now we can think about it at the level of personal experience. The Thinking Like a Psychological Scientist book explains cultural differences in cognitive bias, referring to the terms used to describe national cultures. The term culture can be used to describe the characteristics of any particular group of people, though. So different workplaces have different cultures, different places of worship, different demographic groups. I imagine you get the idea. When we're thinking about the limits of personal experience, we could make the case that it might be more important to consider the differences associated with the smaller groups to which we're belong, we belong and those to which we don't belong. Our senses and the way we perceive that information can also influence how we interpret the situations we have and create differences in personal experiences. The textbook explains a few of those types of illusions, so I won't go into detail here. This module will focus on differences in personal experiences that are created by the way we think. The readings and other resources talk about a number of cognitive biases, faulty ways of thinking that influence the information we seek, attend to, and act upon. In some cases, they're what we call heuristics or shortcuts that can help us make judgments more efficiently. In other cases, the biases are more elaborate. It's important to note, though, that we're not talking about bias in the same way you might be thinking of it. It's not bias in the sense of social discrimination, but rather in the sense of favoring something. Okay, you might have noticed I didn't really explain why smart people do dumb things. Instead, I hope I helped you think about how personal experiences can lead us to view some things as being dumb, though what's dumb can be a matter of interpretation. That's part of the reason that knowledge due to personal experience is limited between cultural influences, the way we sense and perceive things, and the way we process information. There are a lot of variations in personal experience. It's one of the reasons it's important to think like a scientist to evaluate our beliefs and the limits of our knowledge.